Hey guys, Coach Mike T here, 100% Me Podcast, and today we have an amazing episode for you with Sean Henry. But before we get into that, I want to throw out there to you guys the small business highlight for the month. Yes, it is Plemina.com. This is my friend Plemmy, and she has an amazing jewelry company. Plemmy's been doing jewelry for a little while now and just has some remarkable pieces. She's all about helping women to have a positive, healthy mindset and to truly be happy with who they are from the inside out. Be sure to go to Plemina.com and check out her jewelry for yourself. And hey, tell her Mike sent you. Now, when it comes to this podcast episode, like I said, it's with Sean Henry of Fletching Digital. Hope you guys enjoy it. All right, guys, as I said in that introduction today, we are here with Mr. Sean Henry. Sean, how are you doing today, sir? I'm doing great. How about yourself? Oh, man, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. So I met Sean over through one of the groups here on Facebook. And uh, again, with my heart to serve and to be able to bring on business owners and highly motivated individuals, he stepped up to the plate, man. And so we've been talking and I really love his heart and I hope to be able to communicate that to you guys today. So Sean, before we dive into anything too deep and just let us know when it comes to yourself, your family, your business, who are you? Absolutely. Well, well, first, I'm thankful that you're having me here and giving me this opportunity. Um, I, 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 I'm blessed. Um, my life is full of fun and not so fun experiences that set me here today. And so uh, first, I have to acknowledge that. Um, I, I grew up with a, with a family that loved me and a family that understood what it meant to be poor, but what it also meant to do a lot with the little that you have. Mm -hmm. Um, I have, you know, I'm originally from Wichita Falls, Texas. Uh, anyone listening to this call has probably never heard of that city before (laughs) and that's okay. Um, made the, made the jump to Austin, Texas a few years back. And from there, you know, a lot of these opportunities that I have today is because of it. Um, my family's still a little mad because I moved, but that's okay. They can come and visit and I go and visit them. Um, I run, I own and operate Fletching Digital LLC, a digital marketing agency, a, a touch of web design, a touch of SEO, um, and a little bit more lead generation advertising. Um, started that about six months ago after I was one of the bazillion people that got laid off because of COVID. Mm -hmm. Um, took a little bit of time to, to get mad, to get sad, to get, you know, all the emotions that anyone who's ever been laid off has felt. Um, decided that I didn't want to start another job, uh, go through all the training. And then if something were to happen, I would lose my job again. Uh, didn't did I knew my wallet couldn't take it didn't know if my psyche could take it and didn't know if my girlfriend wanted to deal with that so <laughs> um I wanted to get back to work uh and so I started a business that works to enable other people mm-hmm. other small business owners to do what I wanted to do to get back to work get back to where they were before or hopefully even go beyond where they were before yeah yeah I mean that's right man that's the dream right there to be able to to go through something and that's so that could have been just one of the worst things to happen to a person. I mean, I have heard, you know, being a business coach, you hear of so many business owners that in these last six months who, I mean, they have to close their doors. Like that's a reality for a lot of people right now. And so to be able to kind of, kind of dust yourself off and be like, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and launch this thing on my own. That's awesome. So Fletching Digital, how did you come up with that name Fletching Digital? Well, um, it's an interesting, it's an inter- it's way too much time on my hands is how I came <laughs> up with it. Um, you know, I, my girlfriend is a big archery fan. Okay. And if you look at an arrow, you know, I, I can think of about seven different businesses with the name arrow something. Uh, and I don't blame them. They're all good businesses. But if you think about it, what guides the arrow to its destination are the feathers in the back. You never really notice the feathers. Hopefully, you know, you see what you see that the arrowhead pierces its target. But the arrows, also called the fletching, are actually what guide that air guide that arrow to its destination. Okay. That's what I do. Uh, hopefully, if you're a small business and you work with me, 
your customers never hear of Fletching Digital. If you hear, if they hear of my company, I've done something wrong. Sure. Uh, hopefully they see the impact that you make on their business. And selfishly, hopefully I can guide you towards that destination. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So Fletching Digital. And so when you say that, you know, hopefully they never hear of your company, Fletching Digital. So you're, you're, you're a support for small businesses, essentially. I am. I am. Um, I, you know, I'm, I, I feel like I'm the hype man for businesses. Um, I, you know, if you're a small business owner, you're running accounting, you're running accounts receivable, you're running marketing, you're, you know, you're the creative director, the marketing director, you're the one outside on some of these calls mo- yeah. mostly, or you're training people on that. You can't keep up with everything. You can't be all things to all people. So my thought is, is if I can set up targeted advertising that works specifically for your business, specifically for your area, that makes you known and presents people that actually, one, aren't, you know, uh, what they call them, tire kickers, where they're just looking, but actual people who want to utilize your services, that allows me to be able to step back and let you shine. There you go. There you go. Well, guys, I mean, of course, you small business owners out there who are listening to us here on the 100% Me podcast, if you need a hype man, a flavor flavor for your business, right? <laughs> Be sure to look up Sean. So Sean, six months. So tell me about that moment of layoff, okay? Because like I said, I have so many relationships where that happened. What did that, what did that feel like? Tell, bring us back to that moment when your employer was saying, you know what, hey, this is what's happening and this is our, our decision. Uh, a lot of dry heaving. No, um, (laughs) (laughs) a little bit. Uh, no, I'll, I'll never forget the call. Um, the company, fantastic company. I I wish them the best and they're thriving now. And I'm so grateful for that. Uh, I remember being on the call and I was actually, um, (laughs) I was, they offered me a job while I was employed with a different company several months back. And so, you know, I took it because it seemed like a great opportunity all around. Mm -hmm. And even on that call, they said, you know, hey, we understand that you chose us when you had other employment. And that means so much like, you know, I'm sorry it didn't work out. And, you know, being I'm I myself, I'm 32. I'm, you know, trying to build a life to take care of a family to, you know, do everything that, you know, a 32 year old wants to do. Yeah. Um, and in that moment, you know, I, I felt lost. You know, I, I, I like to focus, I like to zero in on one thing and be really, really good at it. And at that moment I went, oh man, where's, where's my thing? You know, where, where's, where's my, you know, where's my thing that I can hyper-focus and obsess on because it's no longer this position. And I went to LinkedIn and I went to Facebook and I saw all my friends saying, hey, just an FYI, I recently got laid off because of COVID. You know, if your friends are looking for someone, hit me up. And I thought, oh my goodness, we're all in the same boat. Yeah. And so that's because those were the people I was going to reach out to and say, hey, you know, I'm recently yeah. unemployed if your friends are looking. Uh, but, wow. you know, it was, it, was odd, it was this odd feeling of loneliness, but also in a weird way, comfort. And the fact that I wasn't alone because, you know, I mean, however many millions of people lost their jobs, I was, I was unfortunately a drop in a big, very big bucket. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. I mean, COVID-19 was definitely and is still definitely like the great equalizer. I mean, it didn't care what your position was. It didn't care what your race was. I don't care what you look like, how old you are. It hit yep. a lot of people and hit a lot of people hard, 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 hard. And so, yep. man, first and foremost, I'm proud of you because being an entrepreneur and being in this thing for, I mean, because I've only been full time entrepreneur for going on a year now in a few months, but, you know, I've had side hustles forever, <laughs> forever. Yep. And so I, I love the fact that instead of saying, hey, let me sit back, let me, I mean, run to the unemployment line and just wait until the next opportunity or wait till this thing blows over, you took action. What did your girlfriend feel about that when you said, you know what? I may have an opportunity in the, in the future, but right now I'm going to launch my thing. What did, what did she say? My level of success today is because of the support she's given me. Mm-hmm. Uh, and she's not over there. I'm not saying this in front of her. <laughs> um, she's not, she's not holding up cue cards. There you go. Um, there you've, you've been at this for a year. 
there have been days where you may wake up and say, oh, my schedule's packed. This is going to be a fantastic day. And the next day you may think, am I going to put food on the table next week? Mm -hmm. You know, Um, working in sales for as long as I have, that's, you know, the level of, um, I don't want to say panic, but the level of concern I always have is, you know, it can be a great day. And then three appointments get canceled the next day and it's the worst day of your life. Um, I, I was very upfront with her. You know, she, she doesn't work in this industry. She's in the medical field. And I was like, Hey, this will be up and down. There may be more downs than ups at first. Uh, I may look at you and go, Oh my goodness, what have I done? Like, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to go, you know, go apply for any job I can find. And she's like, no, this is, this is, this is your opportunity. Yeah. You know, if she asked and she was like, was there anything you could have done to keep your job? And I said, no, they laid off a quarter of the company. Wow. And she, she looked at me and she's like, yeah, she's like, then, you know, this is worth trying because you have, you have, there's nothing you could have done, but now this is everything you can do. So mm-hmm. she's even, I mean, even the past month or so, um, you know, she's come in from work and said, Hey, how's it going? I'm like, Oh, it's great. You know, I'm talking with this client or I'm helping this client or we've had these great results. And she's like, all right. And then the next day I'm like, she would say, Hey, how's it going? I'm like, I want to pull my hair out for whatever reason. She's (laughs) she's like, well, you know, there's always tomorrow. There's Mm -hmm. always, you know, you're not giving up. You're going to keep going. So she's, she's, she's the reason why I've had such success. Wow. That is awesome. That is awesome. Yeah. Having that support and that rock, because what a lot of people, I think, I think a lot of people understand imposter syndrome, but I don't think they understand the impact of it and what it actually does. And as an entrepreneur, I mean, that imposter is constantly just sitting like right here, just waiting for an opportunity to come in and say, maybe you can't, maybe I can't do this, or maybe, maybe it won't work. Right. And so, no, that is awesome to have that level of support. So did your family back home at Wichita Falls, did they, did they hear about this? And you know, what were, what was their response to this? Uh, they, they did. Um, I told, I told them about it. You know, uh, my mom's always been a great supporter. My mom and my sister and my grandmother as well. Um, I, I told, I told all three of them, uh, you know, my, my grandmother, she's, she's been kind of the rock of the family for so many years. She's, she's 90 years old. And her only question was, uh, oh, that's great. When can you move the business back to Wichita Falls? And so, <laughs> you know, s- supporting, but also calling the U-Haul at the same time. Yes. Um, you know, and my mom, she, she, <laughs> she doesn't really understand what I do in regards to the digital advertising side of it, but she knows it's necessary. And yeah. she said, hey, if you think you can do it, go for it. That's awesome. That's awesome. And just to backtrack a little bit, whatever your girlfriend does in the medical field, tell her, thank you. We, we thank her for her work and, you know, what she's doing, because I know in a broad sense, the entire medical industry has shifted. It has some sort of pivot has happened where thing where some people have gone up, other people have to fill those positions and those gaps and medicine and all that. And so thank her so much for what she does. Well, when you talk about your mom, your sister and your grandmother, and your girlfriend, I hear a very, very female driven, female strong support system there. <laughs> and I jive with that so much, so much so that uh, a lot of you guys know, and I don't know if you know, but I wrote a book called 100% Me Mom. And it's literally talking about the 12 women who have influenced my life. And so tell me, how have they just as a whole, because I know they're your support now, but growing up, you know, tell us a little bit more about these women in your life, man. Oh, gosh, I don't even know where to start. Um, I... The things people see as strengths in me are because of those three women that have that have poured into my life that have um, been examples of what to do and uh, and what not to do have been honest about you know Mm -hmm. successes and mistakes um my mom always told me as a kid that i was you know destined for great things and she made it clear that it wasn't like oh you know you're gonna be amazing you're gonna be awesome it's no, you have the capacity to do great things. Wow. It's it's not a title. It's it's an action. Wow. Um, you know, my sister, uh, my she's my older sister. Um, so much of what I am, my humor, so many other things, is because you know uh, I'm kind of dorky. My older sister is kind of dorky, and you know I always had that person to be dorky with. There you go. Um, my my grandmother. Uh, just this year alone, 
Uh, she's always been an amazing support system, but just this year alone, she uh, at 90 years old was diagnosed with stomach cancer. Mm -hmm. And, you know, at 90, wow. everyone would have respected whatever decision she made in regards to her treatment. She said, no, we're gonna fight this. So she packed her bags, moved, or moved temporarily to a treatment facility on the opposite end of Texas wow. and fought and she's, she beat cancer. She's good to go now, yeah. just like she's beaten everything else that stood in her way her entire life. Wow. And so, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I, I'm very blessed. I'm very blessed to have that support and to still have that support, you know, at 32 being on the opposite side of the state from where they all live. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm very blessed. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Cause Wichita Falls, that's closer to Oklahoma, correct? That's North, North. Texas. Yeah. That's about, it's about a uh, two hours, two hours ish North of DFW, about 30 miles from the Oklahoma border. Okay. Okay. Wow. I mean, that sounds like a lot of strength in those women. And like I said, I champion the women in my life. So I salute you, man. I salute the women who are supporting you today. And one of the things you said, that's really, really pivotal to me. And I love it was your mom would, would not give you the title, but she, she would amend, uh, commend the action. I love that because there are so many people who, I mean, I come into contact with today and they have what I call American idol syndrome, right? Where they get on the show and they just cannot sing. And it's like, hold on, <laughs> like what just made you do that? And it's like, well, my mom has always told me and it's like, oh, okay, your mom lied, man. You're like, oh, that's a mama's voice right there, right? And so I think that's so key. And so for those of you guys who hadn't heard that, I wanna repeat that, that his mom would say that it's not, that she would, she would not commend or cheer on the title. And so I want you to break that down, but she would commend the action. Break that down. What does that, what does that really mean for you? Uh, my, my, mom, my mom would support me if I was digging trenches on the side of the road for money right now. Mm. Uh, my mom would support me if I was the CEO of a multi-million dollar company right now. Um, she would treat me exactly the same. Uh, she would hold the expectation that I treat those in both positions exactly the same. Um, you know, being great is a title that you can give yourself very easily, but it means absolutely nothing without actions behind it. Come on. Wow. Wow. That's powerful, buddy. So when are you writing this book, man? Um, <laughs> that, is, that is just awesome. So I gotta I gotta find some people to read a book yet before I before I write it. So go. <laughs> I got I gotta show this podcast to some people before before yes. I start writing the book. Yes, yes, man. So so six months at it. So how long have you been doing advertising? I know you said you were in sales. How long have you been doing something kind of like what you're doing now in Fletching Digital? So I've been in sales and marketing for the past 12, 13 years. Huh. Um, you know, we talk about my sister. Uh, my sister and I worked together in a marketing department of a dental supply company for gosh, years and years. And so um, got to know her as my sister and got to know her as, you know, my boss and colleague as well. Um, so she's, you know, talk about family support. I send her, you know, my logo a lot and say, hey, what do you think of this? And I'll send her, you know, a graphic and say, hey, what's wrong with this? Um, so if you find something you like on, you know, on my website, it's because she's had a hand in, you know, tweaking it and giving her opinion. Um, but yeah, so I, I sold, or I worked in advertising and marketing, uh, for several years, uh, jumped over to working for my church, my hometown as the creative director for a while, um, it, decided to make the jump into full-time sales, uh, had to start on the bottom. So I actually got a job selling funerals and cemetery property for a uh, for a for a funeral business. Uh, that that changes you. Um, that was probably one of the most amazing experiences I ever had. I learned so much about sales. I learned so much about empathy for the people that come in because there's you know if you have a loved one who's passed away. You don't remember anything that happens the next day. 
-hmm. You just remember how you felt in that moment and the loss that you felt, which means that those are, who were in that role to help guide them to make the decisions that they never wanted to have to make, there's a lot of responsibility to be good, to be a good person. Yeah. You know, you don't need to sell a Ferrari to someone who can, you know, afford a Mazda. Um, yeah. And you have that responsibility to be able to walk away from it to sleep like a baby because you did the right thing. Wow. Um, jumped in that position, I realized I was like, sales is for me. You know, this is this is for me. Uh, moved to Austin a couple, a few years back, and was blessed to work in some great uh, SaaS sales companies. Uh, learned more over the past three years than you know I think I've ever learned in my life. Yeah. And you know, after I got laid off, I, I I decided you know this is the time I I can. I can do this and my business has been blessed. So it's not, I don't, it's nothing because of me. It's everything to do with the people that I've come in contact with the introductions that have been made to me and for me. And then, you know, the people who the businesses that were a good fit for me and who I was a good fit for as well. That's it. That's it. Wow, brother. No, that's awesome. That is awesome. And so kind of like Alan Dibb says in his book, and when it comes to marketing is that we should all instead of being business owners that have marketing, we should all be marketers with businesses. And so for those of you guys who are saying, you know what, I'm in a business, I, I know what I do, I love what I do, but I have a hard time getting this awareness, which is the beginning of any business. Be sure you guys reach out to Sean, be sure to reach out to him. And you may have heard him say he was a part of a, a SaaS uh, sales position or a SaaS company. That's just S A A S. That's a software as a service. All right. Um, but that is awesome, brother, that you've been doing this for as long as you have been. And even more so that you have the heart that you have. Like I, I talked to some people who they say I was a salesman, but really you guys are relationship men. Like the, uh, the amount of relationship that goes into truly caring for a person, especially working at a funeral home. Like I, the perspective that's gained there, like <laughs> I applaud you brother. Cause I, whoo, like I was a pastor and that was about as close as I can get to, <laughs> to doing that. <laughs> like, wow, wow. That's awesome. So before we end up here, man, I just want you to go ahead and tell everybody what is the best way to contact you. If I am a small business owner and I, I really want that awareness, I want those eyeballs on my business. I need Sean Henry. How do I contact you? Uh, well, first, thank you for the opportunity to be here today and to even, you know, get to talk a little bit about myself and a little bit about my business as well. Um, if you want to get in touch with me, if you're looking and you're wondering where next week's job is coming from, uh, I want to help you get there. Uh, you can shoot me an email directly at Sean, S-E-A-N, at FletchingDigital.com. Uh, you can check out my website, FletchingDigital.com, uh, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram. If you open your door and yell really loudly, I'll hear it and I'll call. Um, I, I will, I will talk to gladly talk to anyone who has a few questions or needs to, you know, entirely redo your marketing. That's what I'm here for. Awesome. Awesome. So guys, I will be sure to have all of Sean's links in the show notes. So be sure if you are sitting here right now and you say, you know what, I feel like I'm, I'm posting in the desert. As one of my clients said last week, I'm posting in the desert. No one's seeing my stuff. You need that awareness. Be sure you go down to those show notes. You reach out to Sean, ask whatever questions you have, and hopefully that you, you are a good fit and he's a good fit for your company. And he can get you guys some leads, man, get you guys going and actually building a real organism. Well, Sean, one last question for you, my brother, and that is if you were, well, let me backtrack. I love Batman, the Dark Knight. And so, you know, the very first Batman, you know, he at the end of the movie, he's running, right? He just kind of took the blame for Harvey Dent's death and, and he's running because people don't need a hero right now, right? And, and mm -hmm. it, it's starting to go black and there's cops chasing him and the dogs and he's going off the grid until the next movie. If you had to go off the grid right now, if you were to say, you know what, I got to go black, I got to go dark for a little bit. What would be your last kind of sense of encouragement or, or word of encouragement to everyone watching today? Oh, that's a good question. Oh, that's so good. I think, I think at the end of the day, I would hope people remember to be human to each other. Um, I'm seeing so much from my friends and my acquaintances, you know, times are hard right now. Times are hard with, you know, 
with a with a disease with a with a you know a very hectic presidential election and everything else under the sun that you can imagine that you're thinking of a year ago these people were your friends and they were you know your family they're still your friends and they're your family so i would just hope that people would be a little bit nicer to each other. I think, I think as a society, we can all do a little bit better than that, a yeah. little bit better than we have been. Wow. That's powerful, brother. That's powerful. That's exactly it, guys. These keyboards and, you know, these phones, they don't have a whole lot of feeling. So we got to make sure we put that emotion and keep that emotion there, that love for each other. I love that. I love that. Guys, remain human. Just remain human. Well, Sean, Again, man, thank you so much for your heart. Thank you for what you do to support small businesses because that is my passion. I am intensely interested in supporting small businesses myself. And so anyone that's on that team, I rock with you, man. I got your back. And guys, again, go down into those show links and you talk to Sean, get him on your team, man, and have him put eyes on your business. Well, for Sean Henry, I'm Mike Wilson with Speak Audibly. Guys, you have a blessed day. We'll talk to you soon. Goodbye. Thank you. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode with Sean Henry of Fletching Digital. Again, don't waste your time trying to figure out marketing on your own, guys. All right, you have a business to run. Don't wear every hat in your business. Instead, send your marketing to Sean. And be sure to tell him that Mike sent you from the 100% Me podcast, all right? Now, I love you guys, and I hope that you understand that this is Speak Audibly. You have a voice. Go out there and let it be heard. Talk to you soon. Bye.